Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, I've had a very exciting uh, stream session on Twitch last uh, Monday. Monday evening at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern is when I do my Twitch stream for the Honestville series. And we got a lot done on the city and I've done some stuff off screen. So I'm going to show you uh, what we did in terms of all that uh, shortly. We do have a few naming recommendations from the YouTube comments. So if those of you who are just maybe discovering this channel, uh, you can always submit a name for uh, a particular park or neighborhoods or building or anything. Uh, street names I'm not really using right now because the names tend to disappear. So unfortunately, I haven't really been naming the streets as we were uh, in Plantation Bay. But anyway, uh, we have first off, um, Festa Zombie recommended that I name this federal prison, which is quite near this sort of little beach area here. Oh man, the neighbor's cat's doing it again. Give me a sec. Apologies. The uh, neighbor's cat was whining and wanted to be let out, so that had to happen. Um, so Festa Zombie, a regular commenter, recommended that we name this the Hot Spring Holding Center, which I think is hilarious. It is kind of funny to have a funny to have a prison so close to a residential neighborhood, but uh, I, I think we're going to keep it. I've always quite liked the federal prison building in um, in SimCity 4. So that's the first one. Uh, another another long-term viewer, uh, Chong Hun Chang, three uh, three thousand and two, recommended that I name. I think I think they were referring to this hill here that kind of faces the the sea, uh, Stargazer Hill, which I think is a great idea. This uh, this neighborhood doesn't really have a name, but uh, I think that's a great great name for this sort of suburban area up on the hill here. So we'll go with that. Uh, and I think the other naming suggestion I had was um, from Lee S, uh, kind of riffing on the endless puns on the channel name. <laughs> uh, so he had recommended a, a sort of industrial area be referred to as Rob's Red Hot Grease Pit. Uh, I'm almost tempted to see if I can find like a dirty industrial building um, to have that name. I don't know why I'm getting all these zots here? Um, but I'm trying to see if there's if there's one of those like kind of open pit looking buildings. I don't see one. We don't have the reward the uh, the chemical uh, disaster plant thing reward either. So otherwise I'd place that. But uh, maybe just over here. Maybe over here and in the sort of dirtiest part of the industrial city. There we go. Uh, that's the uh, naming suggestions for this week. Uh, I hope I haven't missed any. It's been uh, the comment section has been getting a bit busier, so I don't always catch them all. Feel free to to kind of resubmit them if I miss them. I try and uh, I try and sort of read all the unread comments and and catch them, but uh, I don't always remember to write them down, and and sometimes I miss them. So hopefully I haven't um, haven't missed anything major. Anyway, uh, other than that, not much has changed in this city. So I'm just gonna drop a save, and then we'll head out to. The regional view, I'm going to give you a sense of the regional plan for the city thus far, because it has sort of evolved uh, since the last week's Twitch stream and just in general. And then we're going to look at some of the stuff that I did uh, both during that during that Twitch stream and during the uh, j just sort of off screen. So first off, uh, these highways here, both this interchange in Southeast Ward and South Ward, needed work. Uh, they're both Y interchanges or T interchanges, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so those are done. This one I didn't do on screen because it was a real tight, kind of complicated mess. And I did fix it though. So let's take a look at those. Uh, starting with South Ward. Um, I've kind of come up with a method for doing these now. So I will hopefully maybe even make a tutorial on them. This one is fairly large. Uh, it's it in, I think it probably even could be tighter if I wanted to. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty tight overall. I'm pretty happy with it. I had lots of space to work because this tile is basically completely empty, so so it was reasonably easy to, to kind of fit all this in here. Um, makes me wonder whether I, this could have been a little bit tighter, maybe with a flyover or something like that, but it's uh, it's looking pretty good. This also probably doesn't really need to be 
kind of bendy like this. Uh, I've figured out some better ways of doing this, right? basically. But I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. And I'll show you uh, the other one, uh, which uh, which I think is, is even better. Uh, and fr frankly, I was worried that I would not be able to fit it in. Uh, it's, it's an interchange. This interchange here, I, I had actually done before, but then I didn't realize that the neighbor connections only work at level 0 or level uh, 2. They don't work at level 1. So I had to, this had to become level 2 and this had to become level 0. Uh, but as a result of kind of fixing that, I, I sort of figured out, I sort of figured out, uh, you know, a really tight way of, of doing this and using the flyovers. And, and so it, this, is, this is probably one of the best interchanges I've done so far. Uh, it takes up very, very little space. Um, this here, this road here, I mean, it's it's a Y interchange, so you've got in, on each side the 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 exit on the right hand side um, veers to the right, and if you want to go the other way, you stay in the left hand lanes. The same is true on this side here, where you can see this one goes over here. This one goes there. It's a three level interchange, so this is level two, level one. And uh, this is level zero, obviously. You can see the same thing over here. Uh, and it's, I was quite amazed. I didn't really think I would be able to make it fit in quite so tight an area, but the flyover pieces are working fantastic. I've gotten a lot better with the flyovers in particular. And so, yeah, this here uh, is, I wanted, I've also been working on ways of essentially not having these Y interchanges completely block uh, through traffic at this at the street level, so I've connected these up to the made the neighbor connections here. There, this avenue used to go under the highway. That's unfortunately not possible, but I was able to squeeze a little road under here so that this part of the city won't be com this part of the city here won't be completely cut off um, traffic-wise from the neighboring areas. And I was also able to run this. This is actually RHW two which then transitions into road, which I was able to run under these two uh, level two ramps and over top of, of these. So it's a level one RHW2. And that means that everything is connected up nicely here, as well as this, this is just the first exit and this highway will kind of continue in this valley here. We get this sort of hilly area over here. Um, and so this valley, I think we'll have sort of a, a pretty straight highway just sort of running this way. I've also been um, I've also been getting in the habit of using more of the kind of the curve pieces, and I'll probably replace these with curve pieces as well. It does make the it does make the region look better overall, especially when we have the space to do it. So just these little these little S curves here and stuff that are a little bit smoother than a um, little bit smoother than than uh, than you know the sort of this this kind of diagonal curve. There's a little road tile over there. Leave that while I'm here. So yeah, um, I had initially thought that we were going to start developing uh, Southeast Ward or even South Ward this episode. Uh, and I think I'm going to hold off uh, because there's yet another piece of news for this city uh, that some of you who watched the Twitch stream will sort of be aware of. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, basically I think we do have to start working around... I mean, I basically just want to work my way around the outskirts of Honestville Central here and start to build up residential around there. And the reason for that is because I kind of want to see how the road network responds in here. I imagine we'll be wanting to do some avenue upgrades and we're going to be looking at transit and things like that. So, you know, we'll start with Southeast Ward or yeah, we'll start with Southeast Ward and then we'll go to South Ward and then we'll go to Southwest Ward and we'll go to uh, Northwest Ward and kind of work our way around. Uh, the train, the passenger train network needs to be expanded, obviously. Uh, I, I'm imagining that this 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 highway, I think, well, there'll actually be yet another um, Y interchange here, and it will kind of head out. A highway will sort of head out over here, and then this highway maybe will just sort of ends uh, at the coast, and then this railway will sort of provide in between the two highways. This one may actually stretch out along the coast too. So, you know, the idea is to have rail and, and highway not really be redundant, um, which we've sort of done here. This this North Ward is sort of dominated by the rail line, whereas Northeast Ward is dominated by the highway. And, you know, the idea is to not have completely redundant um, sort of high capacity networks. Uh, on that note, though, let's head over to Northeast Ward because you'll see this blue line here. Um, the Honestville now has its first mass transit line. 
last transit line. Well, it's a, it's a tramway line for the most part. Uh, and I, I, I started playing with the tramway because uh, people asked. Uh, people asked on the Twitch and a number of people asked uh, in the YouTube comments as well. And and just about how it works. It's not something I use very often because it is kind of restrictive in ways that I'll demonstrate this episode. Um, it, it, it can be tricky to work with because, and I'll, I'll show you why right away, uh, this is the this is the sort of tramway on street here. When you put the tramway on street, you cannot have your zones, these little arrows here, cannot face the, the tramway line. So it's a bit of a problem. Uh, it's a bit of a problem and what it means is that it's not particularly easy to uh, redo work in these neighborhoods. Uh, once once it's kind of there, it kind of has to stay that way or you have to redo the whole thing. Also, the tramway on street or tramway on avenue uh, or, or whatever, uh, all those um, sort of dual layer networks uh, don't have any draggable pieces, so it, it involves every, every little bit of this is a puzzle piece. So... So that's why I'm a bit reluctant to work with them in general, but I thought it would be fun to have at least one of these uh, in Honestville. And I think, uh, well, I'll show you what I did here first. Um, so this line here just sort of temporarily ends in this loop. I'm, we're actually going to be extending this line this episode. And for this kind of little eight block run, there's a, there's a, basically a, a stop at every, at every block. Uh, you can't really see the stops very well. There we go, let me just find one here. They're very subtle. Um, the tram stop on road, they're one by two stops. Um, they're basically, a, you know, this this would be, I don't even know if the train would stop there every, unless there was a passenger that actually wanted to get on kind of thing, sort of like a bus stop. Uh, and then this actually then veers off the road. There's lots of neat puzzle pieces. The puzzle piece set for the tramways is fairly complete. Uh, it's very easy to do this kind of thing. Um, like I said, it's very easy to do it, but it's not very easy to go back and redo it. Uh, let's put it that way. And then it, it crosses this avenue here. There's a larger station here. This is a bit more of a hub station. And then it actually goes under into a, a um, it actually goes straight into subway actually. It's not a, it's not a flop. This is, this is a tram to subway um, transition because I had to go over the RHW. There aren't really tram pieces that go under the RHW. So I had to go under this. And then it re-emerges here as regular elevated rail with one of these nice uh, Victorian elevated rail stations. Uh, and it's, it, it continues into Honestville Central, where it will turn into more of a mass transit subway type line. So I'm kind of imagining that we're going to use tramway as the end, uh, uh, as the sort of end of, of these lines in this sort of more suburban areas. Some of the subway and, um, and above ground rail will transition to to these even if it's only just to put this little loop i love these i love this loop here it just makes it so much more realistic to have the trains kind of loop around and and you know and eventually you know rather than just sort of dead ending there uh so i also built the terminus of this line uh there's a university down here the city needed a university and so there is a uh, university down in this corner, and this is a train station on the main train line here, uh, which is the same line as this one that we built there. And so the tram line, I'm imagining, is going to uh, end at this station here. So there's a tram station between these two... between these two... Um, uh, one-way roads, and and so the idea there is to is to sort of have the tram network end here. This will be the very end of that line, which I imagine will cross the city. So we're gonna finish this tram line uh, in you know, on the YouTube video here because uh, I don't want to, you know, I, I, when I do things like this and on Twitch, I kind of want to redo parts of them on YouTube so that uh, di you know different viewers can 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 sort of see how it's done. More or less. I'm, I'm thinking at this point, it's been a while since I used the tramway stuff, and I, I kind of got better at it uh, again. Like, you know, it's just sort of been a while since I'd done it, so I kind of um, remembered how to do it. And uh, I I think I may make a tutorial about this, but basically there's two... Just to go over it quickly, there's, there's the draggable ground light rail uh, or tram, um, and that's not on... Uh, that's not on uh, the like over top of the street or anything. It's just you, there's a few different textures you can use. There's another there's another one somewhere here where you can get the sort of transparent ones, uh, which I could have done this. I could have done this as transparent kind of over grass, but I, I guess I decided to go with the paved. It does look kind of awkward on the diagonal there. Might be worth redoing at some point, but like I said, it's not very easy to redo. 
Um, but tram in general, uh, it's a little bit better to use the puzzle pieces. It's good to drag it if you're going long distances, but as soon as you have like stations and stuff, it's, uh, you really end up needing to use the puzzle pieces. You can see the puzzle pieces actually go together quite, uh, quite nicely. So, yeah, I'm very tempted to... Let me just see if I can do that quickly, actually. We might be able to... Yeah. Just see if we can quickly replace at least... Ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid that we're going to create a problem here and I'm going to need to, like, remake the station and stuff, but... Because that's the thing. It's really the stations that you have to be careful about uh, erasing. Uh, you know what I can do, actually. Let's just go to... There. Ooh, yeah, see, that's created a problem. Okay, that's okay. As long as we can do that. And then, yeah, if you want to do the... If you want to have it go over a street, uh, it's not a bad idea to use the disconnector piece, although some of them don't let you. Uh, let's grab this one here. And we should be able to get... There we go. A tram over road and we just rotate it there we go so that's done obviously this is a level crossing it's not a fluff or anything but uh you know i'm kind of considering this to be sort of not necessarily a super high capacity um super high capacity line now let's see here i'm not sure whether the draggable network is actually going to work very well here simply because well, there's a few things. First of all, I, I'm not a huge fan of the draggable one because you, you use, um, not that one, you use um, elevated rail to do it, and it's a bit awkward uh, because the elevated rail is, of course, elevated, and you'll see what I mean. Um, it's very awkward to sort of look at, and yeah, it doesn't seem like it does the diagonals very well, so we may have to see what we can do, see if we're able to... I don't know if there are puzzle pieces. There might be alternate textures in here. Uh, not the draggable one, sorry. In here. Ah, there are. Yeah, so we can just use these puzzle pieces. It works It works better overall. Let's see if there's a, a corner piece. That's uh, lots of neat ones. That one, that one actually looks like it's completely... All right, so it looks like we might have to go with sure if there is a transparent one. That doesn't look like it. It's a bit weird. Uh, there's, you know, there isn't every single puzzle piece in every single texture, but there we go. Overall, it's pretty flexible. I think we need another corner piece here. Oh, there we go. And yeah, it, I probably just sort of stuck with the, uh, the default texture, considering that we can't really... I don't know, I still like the... Uh, I do like the um, the more transparent grass look overall. Let's, uh, let's do a disconnector there. Always safer to use the disconnector when we're using these pieces, although overall the RAM is not too, too bad in terms of falling apart. It's mostly these intersections. You have to be very careful about doing as well as the stations. It's, the stations are best done ahead of time before you actually do the. Oh, there we we'll use this guy again. Oh, actually, that one's no. That, that's not very. I don't like that one. So that's a bit of a weird one. Um, not sure. Thankfully, that didn't break anything. Uh, this one. Sort of. There we go. Eh, it's a bit. It's a bit weird going back and forth between the uh, the sort of green one and the and the the paved one but uh, we'll, we'll continue to play around with it and I, I may go over it and you know put some of that more nice transparent one uh, in certain spots uh, here we have a road flop under the tram as and the uh, rail so that's kind of cool and here it's going to back to transition to uh, elevated rail which is useful now uh, I was imagining that um, one of these avenues is going to have to go east-west, and the other one is going to have to go... I think this might actually sort of become an avenue. Because we do... we are kind of short on avenue connections. Mind you, getting it under the highway would be a real bitch, I think. 
Yeah, we may need to. Oh, we've got this one-way system here. So it's not so bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll we'll stick with that. Uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, is bring uh, bring this avenue and connect it up to the neighboring city. Um, really, though, what we should do is probably an avenue flop at some point. Not imagining these these avenues running north south necessarily. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I am thinking because we do need we need more connections to the city for sure. Um, yeah. So maybe if we do an avenue flop like there. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to just uh, uh, kind of pencil it in here. And this this neighborhood, it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, normally in Honestville, we sort of don't do these, we don't sort of work on these, these isolated neighborhoods that are completely outside of the city, but uh, it has become a little bit necessary to do some kind of tra transportation infrastructure in advance. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so... So yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with that for now, and yeah, I'm gonna fit a flop in there, and this can join up there. The main reason I made I made these sort of higher capacity roads is that this I'm pretty sure this train station is gonna be fairly busy. So so yeah, so it's it is sort of necessary. Um, now what I would like to do is actually bring this over and have it go onto the streets here for a while maybe, and then it's gonna go diagonally. I think. So I think we'll complete the street grid first. Kind of connect everything up. Everything but the tram, anyway. And it's a big flat area. Uh, we are going to be going with a, a sort of more classic uh, grid style for this for this neighborhood. Although it's going to be fairly suburban. Uh, it looks to me as though it could be neat to have it go diagonally across here, sort of not on the street. That could be interesting. I'll be interested to see how that works in terms of, sort of dragability. Probably should do that first, actually, if that's what we're gonna do. You like the idea of having a, of the diagonal tram. Maybe it'll cut sort of in between the blocks and stuff. Okay, that was not a bad way to do it, as it turns out. But I think it will leave the, uh, the street. Let's see what we get here. The disconnector. Yep. That's weird. Okay. This guy needs to go. Yeah, you can see that some of the pieces kind of break and don't function if you're if you're not careful about how you disconnect them. And then for the tram on street, you have the or sorry, tram in road. It's called. Um, you have these pieces here. So I think we're going to want it to actually leave the road right away if possible. We just cycle through these. Lots of lots of neat pieces, the intersections and everything like that. The intersections you generally need to place in advance, especially for the tram in road ones. Fairly important to place them in advance. I think uh, not that one, nope. But they also like the tram let is, is quite forgiving. It lets you make very tight corners, which is which is kinda nice. So I don't know. I, what I want is you can even have it go into an avenue. All sorts of neat stuff here. Like there's a width transition there. What I'm looking for though, oh, these are cool too. Under viaduct rail, under monorail, under elevated. There we go, this is the one I'm looking for. We're gonna have it sort of leave the road here because it does have to head over diagonally at some point. Although, we want it to do that right away. I think so. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense to have it sort of jog over here, and then we'll have it go in the road on this side. I'm not thinking, well, there might be a train station here. Mm. Yeah. Or we have it go straight down and do a right angle tram and avenue down here. That could actually be kind of neat. Let's do that instead. Let's do that instead. Kind of L-shaped thing. 
Yeah, anyway, there's there's lots of neat pieces here. Um, let's uh, let's first just kind of sketch out the uh, street grid. Set up standard six by ten or so blocks here. I don't think we're going to need any kind of major east-west avenues for the time being. Might squeeze another uh, roads. Neighbor connection. The next tile. And then I will, uh, at the end of this episode, I'll show you what it looks like in Central City, and we may even kind of plan because at this point, we're, the city is getting to be, we should, I'm hoping this episode will hit 500,000. Uh, if, if we don't this episode, we will probably next episode. Um, and it's getting to be a size where we need to start planning uh, mass transit, so. So yeah, it's not a bad time to be putting in this, this first tram line and you know, some of it's going to be subway and elevated as well, so... Here we are. Yeah, I think we're going to go straight down this way. So we're going to want to place the stations first. And I am just going to place them every block. They are tram and bus stations. So we'll have this sort of long stretch where... It's a fairly local line, it's not uh, not a particularly express line, so to speak. Uh, there are multiple train stations in this tile, so people traveling further, I imagine, would take the sort of suburban train, and people tra traveling... People traveling, um, you know, shorter distances would take this. Uh, let's grab this, the station. All of this is included in the network add-on mod, by the way, if you're wondering. Tram stop and road, one by one, tram stop and road. I like the one by two one. It, it, it seems more realistic to me. Doesn't matter which way you place it. There. There is also a tram in street. So if you want to do a real kind of old-fashioned tramway city, you could uh, trams and you have sort of like a street tram. And next, see, this is, this is what's weird about it. Uh, next, you want to do... The intersection. So we're going to go back up to the puzzle pieces here, and we're going to find the intersection with street. Oh, wait, before we do that, i got to figure out if I'm going to do a... I'm probably going to do at least one more road crossing here. So it's, it's a little... You can see you can see how it's a little bit awkward to plan. I think we're going to do two Any blocks that we got here. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do one... Uh, there. Not always the most flexible, I guess, is what I'm what I'm sort of driving at. So you do have to sort of plan it in advance, and then once it's built, uh, things like changing the zoning uh, adjacent to the trams is is not particularly feasible. You you will end up having to rebuild huge parts of your network. It's, it's also not really feasible to put this on top of an existing road network, and that's kind of also why we're working on this sort of fresh part of the map here. Um, unfortunately, it's it, there really isn't a way to... There really isn't a way to do this um, otherwise. There we go. That's the one we want for streets. And they're not really flex pieces or anything, right? Like, they're not... They're, they don't change based on the road network and stuff like that. You really have to pick exactly the right piece and drop it in exactly the right place in exactly the right order. So, so yeah. Um, you know, like I said, not it's not particularly challenging, but it is a little bit time-consuming. That's not good. Uh, grab the disconnector. Oh, that one doesn't like the disconnector. Doesn't my station. Okay, good. Doesn't seem to break adjacent pieces very much, which is nice. Uh, nope. Need tram and street. Or tram and road, I mean. I keep saying street when I mean road. Oh, we're missing a piece there. And once again. Okay, let's grab the intersection. Go. 
that's it. We'll see what we do down there in terms of the avenue. I, I, I like the idea of this kind of turning into a a tram and avenue type arrangement. We're all rotated in the right direction here. Got our stations, our intersections, and those function as bus and tram if I'm not mistaken. Yep, bus and tram, so you don't need to be placing bus stops uh, along this road. So it does take up less space, which is nice. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a turn here and go into the avenue, which will be kind of an interesting thing to try to make happen. It should be reasonably easy, actually. Um, find the right piece in the tram and avenue pieces. And so that's, here we go, tram avenue. Let's see what this looks like. Great piece. Probably place our stations first, as usual. Imagine this will come over here somewhere, across this avenue, go um, down from the elevated sort of. I would imagine the last station will be around there, where it goes above ground. Or before it goes elevated, I mean. Tram and Avenue, or Tram Avenue, or whatever it's called here. Really interesting. Oh, some texture variations there, too. Cool. Oh, we need the stations. And that's Tram Stop on Road, Tram Stop, Great Tram Station, Straight Tram Avenue Station. I think that's what we want. Yep, looks good. If there's a different one. No, looks good to me. There's also the modern GLR station, which I think I used uh, further up. Um, so we'll see if we can fit one in right here. Uh, it should be able to make that really tight corner like that. <coughs> not necessarily the most realistic thing in some ways, but ooh, that's not even the right tile. Okay, let's just uh, let's just make sure we're doing this right here. Oh, like that. This one should be just one tile over. Okay. But yeah, uh, stations first. Similar to the bus network, ultimately. I mean, you sort of want to build your stations before you start zoning around them and stuff. But, uh, and with the... It's actually with the elevated rail you, you end up doing that as well. Kind of placing your stations before you drag the rail. Just, the unfortunate part about this is that it's uh, it's really not uh, not draggable. So. Important to know. Um, I think at this point... Going to need. I'm not sure if this if this particular turn onto the avenue will work. I think it will. It might be in the avenue pieces, and it might be in this one. Essentially, it's a corner. I'm sure, this exists. Like it's not that one. But not far off. Uh, oh. Just I gotta look at this to figure out the logic here. No. That's close. Um sure there's a way to do this. If not, um, I can always move that station or, or delete that station. Let's check in uh, in the tram, uh, tram avenue. This is Ram Avenue, which is here. Sort of almost what we 
need here, but not quite. Interesting, it doesn't look like there is actually a, I think what we're, oops, I think what we're gonna have to do is have it turn off the avenue delete this station, there won't be a station there. Uh, we're going to have to have it turn, sorry, turn off the road and onto the avenue. Um, so yeah, what we'll do then is give ourselves a little bit of space here. We're going to have to use the disconnector, which hopefully will work. You can see how, like when these break like this, you can see how you quickly end up in a, you quickly end up in trouble. Uh, I might be, there might be a transition piece somewhere that I'm missing, uh, but either way, it's it's not, uh, it's not really worth, uh, over here. Um, essentially what we want to do is we want the piece that's used before. We want it to sort of veer to the left. Oh, that is, like, almost what we need, isn't it? Really. Actually. Yeah. Need the opposite of that one. It's turn. Crossing tram avenue with tram and road. That's what we need. Holy shit. I think that's it. I mean, it's it's got this, this street coming off the other side of it. So I think that's actually it. That'll do, because this doesn't necessarily need to be a, a road anymore, and we may actually be able to upgrade that to road. So, cool, man. Uh, let's, uh, can I? Okay, that looks a little bit sketchy. I don't want to do that. Okay, so it is going to be streets continuing this way. That's fine. Sort of makes sense. The capacity of the street would go down when there's no tram on it. Um, we just connect this up here, get all nice and tidy. Wow, uh, I don't know how I missed that the first time around, but uh, I mean, I say that, but it's very easy to uh, to cycle through the puzzle pieces and, and miss one. Um, we can actually put a station here, so we'll do that. Uh, we need the or straight tram avenue station. Yep, looks good. I, I, these stations are pretty frequent uh, because I feel like trams, you know, street level trams like this do kind of stop every block or two, right? For the most part, uh, you don't want the stops to be too far apart. This is sort of a little bit more of an old fashioned tram. Um, obviously, some of the more modern European ones are designed a little bit more like uh, light rail or subway in the sense that they, they, they sort of, you know, they leave the road. They don't often intersect. Um, Gotta go a little bit slower here. You can see how this is. Uh, you can see how this is time-consuming, though. Um, it's, like I said, it's not something I do all the time. But I thought it would be fun to do one episode where we really just kind of focus on this. Um, what I really need to do is actually do the uh, start doing the intersections before, before we're around with this. The problem we're gonna have here is it's gonna be a little bit difficult to zone here. The zones are gonna have to face there. We might have to put like a civic building there or something. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem, actually. We're going to have to put a... You know what we're going to do uh, right away? We're going to have to put an intersection here. So, one, two... There. Yeah, we need an intersection, because it's just... Otherwise, it's going to be impossible to zone, because the zones can't face the tram and avenue, so... It, it only works sort of in one dimension, uh, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's, it's a limitation. We need, except we want it with streets, please. Thank you. Like that. Might as well place this while we're at it. We're going to need more intersections. For sure. Not 
too many of these, thankfully. There we go. This is sort of how you have to build these. Um, this one here. And I really, once again, I think we're going to need... Actually, this one should be fine. We'll just put a park there or something. It is kind of a suburban area after all. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to... Not going to be able to zone uh, along so along the length of it, unfortunately. That's just uh, that's just how these work. They, they are not uh, they are not the most flexible transit type. Um, and the reason I don't use them uh, is not because they're sort of broken or they don't work or anything. It's mostly just because they're not flexible from and they don't, they don't, they're not like upgradable. You know, I like to as you've as you've seen in in this series and in um, Plantation Bay, I tend to like to sort of build, um, build one type of network and then upgrade it to another as the city grows, and like, you really can't do that with this. Uh, these are not uh, sort of designed for that. Let's find the piece where it leaves the track, the, um, where it leaves the avenue. Uh, they are, however, like, I, like I've, as I've mentioned a couple times, uh, they are pretty good in terms of fitting into tight spaces, though, making tight corners, which is good, because that's realistic. Uh, t trams kind of have the same turning radius as, like, old-fashioned trams kind of have the same ra turning radius as, as cars, uh, more or less. Uh, maybe not quite as, um, maybe not quite as flexible, but they don't have the limitations that rail does necessarily. What do I, how do I do this here? No, this is not the right piece. Not the right piece. That's what we want. Oh, I had it. Rotating here, there we go. Alright, we're good. There we go, now we just need to get the diagonal piece, and I, I should probably start to line up, uh, Start to line this guy up here so that uh, so that we're pretty sure that that's gonna work. I don't think it will be a problem. I don't worry too much about these. It's not like when you're using the network out on mod uh, or the uh, sorry the highway stuff. Uh, it's, it's much 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 simpler than that. In fact, let's just like that for now. I'm gonna put the we need to, we need the ramp. Uh, the ramp should be I think in this one. Sort of in the other ends. Elevated to ground light rail connector piece. So very, very similar to the subway to ground light rail, except that it just goes down to the surface. Uh, and I don't know if it's draggable, so we'll see here if I can just sort of drag the other piece into it. Uh, that might be a bit of a bit of a challenge. I may have to Oh no, we're good. Sweet. And then I think we've got enough space to do a, a tight little corner there. So we shall see. Because it's all puzzle pieces though, it does uh, it doesn't break. Uh, you know, in the same way as the some of those wild um, ground light rail rural straight piece. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we have another. I think we have the other texture. Does it go there or there? Find out quick. I think, I think that's correct. I'm gonna use the grass tile one again here. There may be there may be a grass tile version of that one. If if there is and I'm missing it, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'll hunt for it uh, when I you know sort of when I have have the time, so to speak. There we go. So we're all connected up. Kind of tempting to uh, kind of tempting to put a station here, uh, but I don't think we will. I think we'll just uh, we'll have the terminus be kind of this this rail station there. I think that's pretty cool though. So we've got our first, well this is the end, this is the sort of residential end of this this first um, transit line for the city. I, you know, I, I, I'm using transit kind of use, uh, loosely, or mass transit loosely in the sense that I don't really consider this to be sort of high capacity transit, but certainly a more, you know, it, it, it is a, it's probably a faster more comfortable system um, than than the bus, and it is 
kind of at the neighborhood scale in a way that our, our rail hubs thus far have not been, so it'll be interesting. It's sort of a local system, and then this is the express system. I think there will be a train station maybe there. Yeah, there's a pretty big gap there. I think we'll put a train station somewhere around here. It's kind of stupid. I should have uh, I should have planned on having an avenue. Maybe just these two roads will meet at a train station. Okay, we're good. Uh, make sure I've got my bus stations where I want them. I'm pretty. I want the bus stations pretty widespread at this point uh, because otherwise they don't use them. But just to extend the water network, all the standard stuff here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just, uh, just, I just wanted to zone that off screen because you, you guys have seen, you guys have seen me do lots of zoning in the in the past few months, and if you know if we can do more interesting things uh, than zoning, then you know, better off I think. Uh, I wanted to see if there was actually a really wide curve here. What I'm doing here, um, I think it's in the wide angle. It's called the wide angle ones or whatever in here somewhere. Maybe not. Wide radius curves. Yeah. Just this, this one. We're just gonna use the kind of standard one. I was hoping for a bigger one than this, but that's okay. Here. Good to me. Could have also done a little bit of a diagonal one there. Yeah. I wanted this to all hook up there. Something's gonna happen too. I think this avenue here might actually just sort of move around. But uh, I'm not gonna play around too much with that for now. Um, and yeah, I'll just uh, I will just do a bit more zoning here. Suburban style. Break anything? Nope. Okay. Grab some bus stops. side, but that's okay. And yeah, uh, you'll notice that uh, because, essentially because this tramway was sort of blocking me from properly zoning this area, I decided to make it a big park. Uh, one thing that I'll say about uh, parks, and this is kind of, um, I guess just from an urban planning point of view, I really like it when, when the buildings in my parks face inward towards the park. Uh, there's nothing worse, in my opinion, it's really bad urban planning when part of a park has the back of buildings facing it. It's, it's really nice when a big open area like this has, has the facades of buildings looking inward towards it. It makes it feel like less horrible, I guess. I mean, it's a bit weird to have the tramway going right through the middle and the avenue like that, but anyway, I just put those grass tiles down there and I think it'll be neat. Uh, we can do something cool with that open space at some point. I put the grass tiles down, uh, not because I want the, those grass tiles to sort of stay like that. I put them down so that I, I don't forget to kind of reserve that as a green space, and otherwise I will just zone over it. Um, I guarantee it, I will just zone over it. I don't, uh, we, we, will, we will come back and work on that at some point, either on YouTube or on the Twitch, likely on the Twitch. And yeah, more of this sort of low density residential, sort of a more of a suburban. Ooh, okay. Let's actually have you. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that. That's fine. We have every single road kind of linking up to something important. Um, and this can go over there, and this can go over there. Kind of a bit weird to have your have the tramway running in your backyard, I guess, but it stops. 
I imagine there'll be some commercial and possibly even industrial areas out here as well. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to zone everything residential and uh, we'll see what uh, what we have demand for. We do seem to have quite a, a substantial demand for for uh, residential at the moment, so might as well try and use some of that up. I think I'm going to leave the other side of the tracks. Uh, actually, we'll just do that. I think I'll leave the other side of the tracks empty for now. We'll just zone out to the university. But yeah, we can. Uh, there's definitely going to. There's going to be more stuff kind of built around this train station. Possibly another little sort of dense village, urban village kind of area. And I think there'll be another neighborhood here, along the railroad tracks there. So this is something I might do on Twitch as well because it's probably going to be fairly similar to uh, to this. Uh, and I'm going to play around with the density. I might actually get rid of some of the higher density stuff here. Uh, I may redistribute the density to make it look uh, nicer in this in this tile, um, somewhat unrealistically. But uh, but uh, you know I may I may do that. Uh, we will we will see. Let's uh, let's just throw uh, an elementary school down for now. I'm not going to worry about high schools. Elementary school there. Uh, kind of facing the park like that. And yeah, uh, it's kind of an interesting end of the line kind of neighborhood. But let's let that let that develop. Oh yeah, we got lots of residential demands. Fair amount of commercial demand as well. I should be looking at uh, the traffic view here. See if we have a commercial there, we've already got some. That's good. Not too too much traffic in this in this tile at the moment. Very low density. Now waiting for this to. There we go. Takes a second to develop. Once this develops, I just want to kind of let the let the population grow a bit. Uh, we'll do a little bit of um, maybe we'll do a little bit of um, commercial zoning as well. I think. Let's take a look if this line's getting any use. Not yet. Refresh our trains on it, but it doesn't seem to have uh, calculated yet. I have to leave the tile and come back. Sometimes that's necessary. Is getting some use around the uh, the university already, likely because of the train. Nothing uh, to me. Oh, we don't have uh, we don't have a police station down here. Might as well just sort of drop one somewhere. Make go with the standard large police station. A little bit more police coverage. something. Just a small one down here for now. The thing, about, the thing I like about the uh, Radius mod is you don't always have to use... That's weird. Did I forget to... What's going on there? Uh, oh, it's... Um, right. Crime. Crime is happening in the park. Uh, let's put it there. Um, you don't always have to use the large ones when you have the Radius mod installed, so... Yeah, cool. Things are developing up here. Population figures in the houses are quite low uh, with my with my residential halver mod. So I don't think we're going to hit 500k today. We will we will uh, we will next time though for sure. Uh, do some denser denser developments in and around in other parts of the city. And we'll come and densify some of these areas too. I think at some point. Wait until we've kind of completely... Interesting how this is not developing, considering it's right by that parkland. A little bit suspicious. Right, well, I'm curious to see if the tramway is getting any use. It probably is getting a little bit. Not much, though. Fairly low density, and we probably should think of 
about bringing some commercial down along in here. It's a uh, low, low density commercial. Let's do that. Go over here and really hope that it doesn't screw up my zones. A little thin strip, but I wouldn't mind. Honest. Go. Might be interesting to put some industrial up by the university too. I think we will. We will. I think we will. Yeah, let's grab some uh, high-tech industry. Stick it uh, kind of near the university. I think that's kind of cool. This rail line here. on the other side of the track, so to speak. I wonder what my goal was there with that, the way that road network is. Just uh, delete that for now. Uh, I'm not gonna worry too, too much about the placing of these zones. I just wanna get some buildings up and we'll, we'll build the roads around them afterwards. All right. Bus stops on this side as well. That's kind of cool. And that's that one's got a bus stop included. Go. Lots of room for larger industrial buildings to build up, hopefully. Grab some water. Uh, might be what I'm missing down here, actually. Yep, that's why it's not developing. of the city. It would actually be uh, not a bad spot to stick a freight station, considering there is no neighbor connection down there for now. Let's do that. I haven't used freight stations in a while. You know what? I'm not going to bother. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, they never end up using it anyway. Well, let's uh, zoom out here. We did, uh, we needed, uh, we needed to get some industry going, and we needed more industry in the city in general, so... Glad we've done this this way. It's kind of awkward. Just kind of there. Great. Nice big buildings. Actually. Rezone this here. Get some going like that. But not not right up to the rail. Go. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a sort of high tech park uh, near the university. Um, maybe it's a maybe it's a, an engineering school or something. Ooh, I didn't put a flop there. Okay, that that's gonna be a that's gonna be a flop for sure. I don't. That was it was not my intention to have that uh, that sort of ridiculous lumpy avenue there. I just forgot to do it. But yeah, nice. Well, that's developed nicely. And uh, hopefully someone can come up with, for, with a name for this uh, this university, which I presume will be the name of the neighborhood as well. We used up, uh, we haven't really used up much of the high tech. We, we have an almost insatiable demand for high tech industry. Uh, let's see if we can get some uh, commercial zones going as well. We've got a little bit going along that, uh, the rope, the tram there. Fortunately, you see, this is what I don't like is, is how Essentially, we've got a tram, a tramway going here, and and the whole length of it are just parking lots, which, uh, which is sort of, you know, which is why I don't often use it. Uh, I, that's why I often like to have it running uh, something more like this, where I can at least have the zones facing inward. I, I think this is probably a better way to do it overall, and we may do it this way um, in in future instances. Now, this this I think is is a nicer look with the, with the buildings on either side of a one-way network. 
kind of in, in between two one ways rather than over top of an avenue where it can't actually have buildings facing it. I mean, these buildings, it's just sort of running by the sides of buildings. Uh, I don't know. I don't like that look, but but it is interesting. It is it is an interesting uh, tool, and it is pretty. It's very flexible. I like how it can make those sharp curves and kind of go in the city, and then go down into the subway, and then come back up again. Like it's it's a it's a it's a fairly flexible set, uh, and there's lots of neat things you can do with it. So. Uh, we will continue to play around with it, and I think we will have a number of terminuses this, with these nice little loops. I think that's going to be one of the ways that our transit lines end in this in this city. This is, I think, the kind of end of the central city area, by the way. I think this is in the northeast anyway. Um, so let's take a look at how that line looks. Oh, I wanted to do a little bit of commercial zoning. I was curious if it's getting any use, the, uh, the L train. Oh yeah, it's getting used a bit. That's fine. Getting used. Oh yeah, it's actually fairly busy coming into the central city there. We expected that it's going to be very lightly used in this area here. Probably should have gone with a diagonal or something there. Uh, that there I, I find that this often happens in SimCity 4 when you, when you're, you know, when you don't, when you're not using a straight, a straight line between two points. Like if this, if this line had been sort of diagonal going directly from that industrial area, then it probably would have been a little bit. Um, gotten a little bit more use, but uh, but I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I kind of liked having it go over this avenue. I kind of like the, the general windy shape of it at the end. Um, and the way it kind of jogs over to, to terminate at this university. I also imagine that we're going to have maybe even more suburban communities out here that'll take the train and then maybe transfer to the subway and, and you know, it'll be, it'll be really interesting. Or to the tram and to the subway and all that. So there'll be lots of a very complex kind of rail and road based network uh, to get around this city. Let's, uh. Ooh, I hope that's working. Hope it's not. Oh, yeah, it's working. And actually, this, there's, you know, there's 262 people riding it this far, so that's actually not so bad. Tram. Train. Elevated train, bus, yeah, we got a we got a pretty good mix here. This this station here is actually fairly busy, uh, all things considered. Um, I would imagine some people are actually taking the tram outward to the train and then the train into the city. So, pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's now. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to drop some commercial. It's going to be a bit of a longish episode. But uh, that's okay. Uh, here, I think I'll do some commercial near the university. A little bit uh, denser commercial, perhaps. Uh, and near the train station as well. We should have built some. Uh, we can. That, um, say what? G zone this here. Do it as commercial. We know that that's going to be kind of a. We know that's going to be a pretty busy hub. They always are. The train stations are always very, very busy areas. These of these cities. It's interesting. Of course, I think in real life, um, often, you know, commuter trains, suburban trains, are are, are tend to be fairly lightly used um, versus, say, subway and light rail and stuff. Uh, they tend to run on, in in, uh, in North America anyway, they tend to run on, on you know, not particularly regular schedules, and so they're only used kind of at rush hour, but in, in SimCity, the uh, the passenger rail is is a is often a heavily used form of transportation because it's it moves for it, it's faster it's a lot faster in this than uh than the subway and the l train and it's interesting because in real life that's not really the case uh these these trains have a higher maximum speed but i don't think they have a higher average speed and they take a lot longer to get up to speed and to slow down right uh they're not able to you know they they, they do travel faster overall but they they're not able to start and stop the way a subway train is able to start and stop and start and stop. And, and so they travel great distances faster than subway, but but they're, they're kind of um, a little bit less elegant in that sense. Very cool. Fairly, uh, fairly dense, fairly dense little uh, industrial area there, which is kind of neat on the edge of the city. 
And yep, uh, let's just take a quick look at Onusville Central and the sort of central um, leg of the of this this this. Uh, I guess we're gonna call it maybe uh, maybe it's the uh, Metro Line One. Sort of tram Metro L train. Metro Line 1, I think that's what we're going to call it. There we go, all the way out there. And it comes into Honestville Central here. I did start the line on Honestville Central, but I was reluctant to... I was reluctant to continue it, and I don't think we're going to finish it today. Because this episode's getting a bit on the long side. Uh, but I, I do think we'll talk at least very briefly here about uh, what the plan is with this, with this uh, elevated train. I had actually thought about maybe um, just for the for the sake of it. So we've got yeah. So it continues here. It's a little bit more of an express train. It sort of stops every few blocks rather than every single block. Like and and it's, it looks like it's a little bit going to be heavy, heavily used. So it actually there's two stops here on the line. It's kind of along this road, and then it goes to subway again just to get under this rail essentially. And then it actually this is this was a Ninja Boulevard station that I already had in place there, very conveniently located. Um, so it actually links up with this station here. You can see it's uh, pretty damn heavily used. Heavily used. Um, not sure. Subway 3,777. Uh, yeah. Elevator train. Yeah, it's a pretty heavily used station. Um, be very curious to actually just run the simulator for a second here. Probably have some office demand to use up anyway. Yeah, we definitely do. Take a look at uh, how the traffic is. I want to get out of this. There we go. And you can see that as we work our way around the uh, the sort of contours of the city, I got to do some rezoning there. <laughs> as we work our way around the um, edge of the city, we'll be generating a lot of traffic with these with these lines and stuff like that. So kind of interesting. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, it's uh, reasonably heavily used. Looks like, uh, looks like a lot of people are traveling to the industrial areas on the edge of the city, rather than right into the center. Obviously, this this doesn't really go into the city, but I think uh, what I would like to do is possibly a an L train over street. I would like to, even though I've just I've I've talked a fair amount about why they don't work very well because you can't face the zones towards them. I think it'd be very cool to have an L train over a, over a street, maybe maybe uh, along along one of these streets just for a, a short length, and then maybe it will go maybe it will go underground uh, to this sort of this sort of business district here. But I think this line is going to go clear across the city all the way over here, and and go into this tile afterwards. It's gonna be a sort of the main uh, east-west, or one of the main east-west lines uh, for the whole city. Uh, so I think that's very cool. We're starting to get quite a substantial office district here with this row of towers building up uh, along the park. And it's kind of uh, interesting. I, this sort of diamond shape has sort of produced an odd, probably will fill in some office zones there. I'm gonna keep expanding. The, uh, the central office district is gonna keep expanding like this. Uh, and I think all the subway lines are going to kind of converge on probably this Tanasia Garden here, uh, probably that and uh, Amityville and some of these some of these central squares um, are going to be major subway hubs. But yeah, so this line I think will go straight across. Probably maybe go to Amityville there. Maybe it'll go down diagonally here and maybe back out like that or something. We'll see. We'll see what makes sense. It may also just go straight out here. Um, we're gonna have to take a look at the regional map next um, next episodes, but uh, definitely we probably should we should get this first line built. I think uh, this first line built. I think it, I think it'll just go straight through here. I think that's gonna be the plan. Um, or even just straight across, straight straight across the city from this Amityville square here to sort of this area, and then maybe out there um, because. Got the big train station here. We can have another line that goes sort of north-south or something. Anyway, uh, we do. We, we will have to make a subway plan on one of the episodes soon. I don't think we'll do it next episode because I want to uh, maybe expand the city more. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing. But uh, we are going to make a subway plan for the entire city soon, and essentially, probably at this point, fill out uh, fill out these fill out, fill out the central tile with a with a modest subway network. 
uh, that connects it to the other main tiles. So thank you for watching. As always, you can submit a neighborhood suggestion, uh, neighborhood name suggestion, or really any suggestion in the comments. And uh, make sure to check out Honestville Extra every Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch, where we will continue to work on this city. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Ciao.